If you own real estate in Congress Heights 20032, then this February Market Insight is just for you. I'm Melvin Yates, your neighborhood real estate broker with Exit Flagship Realty. On this month's Real Estate Market Insight, as always, we give you the real estate facts, not fluff. I'm gonna share the five things you need to know about your neighborhood that's affecting your home's value this month. Plus, I've got the county and national data if you want the inside scoop on where things are headed. Don't forget to like and subscribe so I can continue bringing you the latest and most accurate real estate data specific to your neighborhood. My office has over 160 awesome realtors serving clients like you in DC, Maryland, and Virginia. So we can definitely help you put a real estate game plan together. Now for the numbers. Last month, the average sales price in all of Congress Heights was $454,833. This is a 20.4% increase over the last 12 months and a 32% increase over the last 30 days. So to put that in perspective, if you purchased a home for $400,000, in Congress Heights a year ago, on average, you just made $80,000 in appreciation. Pretty awesome. The average days on market, how long it takes to find a buyer, last month was 47 days, a week slower than the city average of 40. And over last month, we had 21 new homes come to market for sale. However, we still only have about 10 weeks of total inventory in all of Congress Heights which means that there's greater demand than there is supply. Though this may seem slightly challenging for my buyers as interest rates start to rise, for that same reason, my sellers should put a game plan together right now to ensure they capitalize at the right time. What that means is right now, buyers have a lot of buying power with historically low interest rates that enable them to afford a higher price point. Everyone should be paying close attention. As far as home sellers who accepted an offer during the month, otherwise known as pending, there were 23 of them and they represented 109% of the 21 new listings that even came on the market for sale. Now, ultimately there were six homes that did sell last month in all of Congress Heights. That's down 50% over the prior month and down 14.3% over last year this time. So as the data clearly shows, there just aren't enough homes for sale in Congress Heights. My agents have several highly qualified buyers who wanna buy right here and right now in your neighborhood and they're willing to pay top dollar, I guarantee it. So I just need a few houses for them. Therefore, if you're thinking about moving up, moving down, moving closer to family, or maybe even wanting to create a little distance, let us help you put a real estate game plan together. Next, you'll wanna watch the county and national data reports on the next video, but make sure you like and subscribe before you go. Feel free to use the link to get an estimate of value from our website, or just text me an address, and I'll shoot over a free market analysis. As always, you can text, call, or email me anytime. Thank you for trusting me as your source for accurate local real estate information, and I'll continue to work at being the most educated advisor on real estate topics in DC, Maryland, and Virginia.